who are working can pretty all I see. All wards have seen that. Our main treatment is that we have to first diagnose clinically, ECG and your laboratory support. Clinically, I have told you that chest pain, angina, sweaty, pressure, troponin T, kit, laboratory, or CKMP enzymes, and third is electrocardiography. These three you have to correlate and then level it as a heart attack. If it is acute myocardial infarction, then your treatment should be what the showing it is the ecosprin, aspirin, you know. Aspirin is an antiplatelet drug and that we have to give immediately. Even 300 mg aspirin behind this will prevent the further complications. Here, if patient is in severe pain, what you are doing? Injection morphine here. Yeah. Ideal painkiller is morphine, pethidine, would be these are substitute when you are using for the so this is the after post morphine. Similarly, clopidogrel, this is the antiplatelet drugs. And drug of choice is the normal thrombolytic drugs is the streptokinase, 1.5 million to be given in one hour. This is the drug of choice for the your uh, myocardial infarction. New drugs have arrived now. The streptokinase now tenecteplase. This is the name is Alexei, and this drug is used for the heart attack. With earlier drug, we are used to giving one hour. This should be given in the 50 second. Just push it. That's all. That means if you are giving within 50 second your thrombolysis process will happen. So don't wait for one hour, just push it. So this is the new drug, 40 milligram, is according to body weight. Tanity place is the new type of your thrombolytics, which is given in the 15 second, just for the bonus. So this is the new drugs for the heart attack. Very soon in our hospital, we will get it. Then, you know, statins, your enterovastatin, simvastatin is given. AC inhibitors medicine, particularly uh, ramipril, parandropril, that has to be dosed according to your patient. NTG drip as per chest pain. Then, beta blocker, metoclol as per your drip. These are the common drugs for the heart attack patient, how to take. These are the pharmacological treatment. And nowadays, the PCI after the patient should do the coronary angiogram. This is the dye in the coronary artery, and that which artery there are common right coronary artery, left coronary artery is checked whether there is a blockage, then you have to do the angioplasty to the Balloon and stenting, and stenting is not that generally bare metal stent and drug eluting stents. And second part is the if there is a multiple blockage, then CFG. you should doing the CFG. your CAVG bypass surgery. So these are the world of the heart attack patients treatment and their opportunities for the follow up. And then after treatment, we have to send him, rehabilitate him, tell them the what to do, what to not do and follow up, regular follow up with the modification of the drugs should be done. So if heart attack occurs in early life, then we can modify them, there are modifiable factors, there are non-modifiable factors and accordingly we have to treat and then we have to send him, tell him that after 4 weeks, Six weekly, they should come to your clinic. And we are having approximately eight to nine hundred patient follow up in our clinic hospital for regular heart attack, angioplasty, bypass patient. So the fixed protocol should be done to see the audience. And if you are thinking always 
good follow-up will give them 20, 30, 40 years of their life span can be increased. So this is the basic in small not cell and in basis we have seen it. We wish you all have a healthy heart because healthy heart will make you healthy. Thank you.